if you have more than one material, you have to divide into section. Right? So this is one thing you have learned. The other thing that is very, very important, right? What is the next one that is very, very important? Is the hangman theory. To determine the section force. Okay, if you don't know this, you are done, right? If you don't understand the hangman theory, right? If you if you don't understand the hangman theory over here, right? Which is real simple to understand. I hope it's simple to understand, right? Then you don't know what force apply to where, right? Because you will not, we will not be able to apply. We will not be able to write out this expression over here, where you have down here, you only have P, right? Down here is P minus what? Q. Right. Once, if you can't write this out and you don't know, we are done. Okay. And the last thing that is most critical over here is this: tensile is positive. Compression is what negative. This is the critical component. Okay. Right. This is the this is this is the crit critical component that 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 we have learned over here. Okay. So did you say N is dependent on how many sections? Yes. Okay. Okay. On how many sections? My N disappeared. Sorry. Hey. On how many section? Okay. Okay. Now, by the way, uh, when I did the first example, I was doing it live. Means I have no solution. Okay. I have no solution at all. Okay, so if those of you that have downloaded on the textbook already, can you all check on solution for 2.19? Okay, can you all help me check on 2.19? What are the answers? Okay, so we have our force to be 32.799 and minus 0 0.07275. Can you all check for me, please? Okay, and if it's wrong. <laughs> I, I can't guarantee you that you can get your school fees back, okay? Okay, can someone check for me, okay, where, where I go to the next section, okay? So far, so far, anyone has any questions, please? Uh, yeah, I have a quick question. Uh, so did we find the deflection for... Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we did, BC. Uh, what about AB? AB is zero. At the top is zero, right? No deflection. Hello? Yeah, uh, could you explain that? Sorry. Because it's in the question. Oh, it's in the, okay. Right, the question say the deflection at point A has to be equal to what? Oh, yeah. Zero, yeah. Yes. right? Okay. Hey, no sleeping, no sleeping. <laughs> okay, no sleeping, yeah? Uh, hey, Eugene, just a quick question. Yes. Uh, to sort of summarize, uh, we, are, we have two applied forces. One is P on section A, B, and another one is Q on yep. section B, C. Yep. Okay, thank you. But B, C will see the P and Q. A, B only see the P. Okay, yeah. Right? Because of the hangman theory. Makes sense. Okay, not, yeah, makes sense is good. Don't memorize, okay? You memorize, you go, go crazy. Okay. Sure. Any can you show yes. your again? Huh? The can you scroll to the right a little bit? The hangman theory. I can see the rest of the summer. Thanks. Okay. Eugene, uh, N is also dependent on the change of material, right? Yep. So Young's modulus. Got it. Anyone else? Any question? Okay. Now, in what situation, right? In what situation? In what analysis? You guys have probably done this in 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 uh three SD three. Okay. Can anyone tell me in what situation of loading that you can apply Excel uh Excel loading condition? Can you remember? 
I repeat again, in what situation can you apply Excel loading? In structure analysis. Now let's say we have a structure. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example, okay? I'll, I'll give you an example. So you will have a, a wall. You have a wall. Right. So this is our our wall. So our wall over here we have a pin. Okay, we have another pin down here. Right. Then we have our structure. Okay, so we have a structure. This is my point A. This is my point B. And this is my point C, right? And then we have a, a load coming down, down here. So this load is our point P, okay? So now, have you all seen, have you analyzed a structure like this? Yes or no? Anyone? Have you all analyzed a structure like this before? It looks familiar. It looks yeah. familiar, you cheeky. So, and this is, so what is a structure like this? What is the analysis that you use in uh, Gantry? Yeah, you're right, Jerome. So this is what we call trust analysis. Right. So in trust analysis, so you guys learn this, right? Method of joints. Yes or no? Can does does the does the name sounds familiar? Method of joints. Yeah. Right. Method of joints. Right. So when we carry out trust analysis, right? The analysis only consider right they only consider what actual loads there you go excel loading right so you can in 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 fact uh apply jeep cream <laughs> and in fact you 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 can apply what you can apply deflection is equal to what pl over ae why because at the end of the day in trust analysis Right in trust analysis, right? When we do trust analysis, if we have a, the our member is looking is is this is our member, right? This is our member. All we care is we care. We if we say the analysis is trust analysis, we only care about the direction of the load that is what acting on the centroid or neutral axis, right? So the load is acting along the centroid or sometimes they address the centroid as the neutral axis okay and then if you if you do trust analysis if your beam is vertical you need care about what is acting on the neutral axis does that make sense okay so um, i'll quickly because in your homework there's an example or there's a problem that is under uh, trust analysis, I would very quickly do a trust analysis uh, example the, the, on how to get forces, okay? So I'm going to spend maybe 10 minutes on trust analysis, and I hope you all will, uh, you all will, will know how to analyze this. Just a recap. Now, question for you guys. Is AB under tension? Is BC under tension? Can you tell me, is AB under tension or compression? Tension. Uh, tension. Anyone else? Yeah. Tension. 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 Is BC under tension or compression? Compression. Compression. Compression, right? Right? So some of you write uh, tension, so write compression, 
Okay, so now I will teach you fundamentally how to analyze this. Okay, some of you have a wealth of experience. You okay, you can you can say it's very obvious. A B is tension, B C is under compression. Some is not so obvious. Fine, I'm going to work as in no one has any experience at all. Okay, so the first thing we will do is we are going to use method of joints. Okay, we're going to do we're going to do method. Of, we're going to apply method of joints and static analysis. Okay, so we are going to uh, consider. Okay, for this case, we are only going to consider at point B. Okay, consider point B. So what is going on with point B? Okay. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw a point. Hold on, let me, uh, let me go through this. Okay. So we go. I'm going to draw a point. Right. So the point down here, I have a load coming down, and this load coming down is P, and we know that this is my point B. Okay, we we know that is our uh, uh our point our point uh B, right? So from here, I'm going to draw the centroid of the structure. Okay, I'm going to, we're going to sketch the centroid of the structure. So this is the center of the structure. Okay, so you you guys can see in green. This is one of the centroid, and this is the other centroid. Right. OK, so the first one, so the, the line, the slope line is a B. For member a B and the other one is for member B C. OK. So we know P is coming down, right? The only the only uh, the only structure, the only structure that can take the vertical load is member what? Anyone? Which structure can take the vertical loading? AB. AB, right? Yeah, absolutely right. So we know that this is AB. Okay. So before I go on, I'm going to draw my transformation. This is X. This is Y. And this is rotation about what? Z. I have to draw my transformation because we're going to carry out what? We're going to carry out what we call static analysis. So the only member that could carry a vertical load is AB, okay? So we have a AB, why? Right? So when we have a AB, why? The vector, okay, the vector of FAB has to be in this direction. Right? FAB. Okay, has to be in that direction. So for the vector to close, we need a horizontal component. So this is your what? A, B, what? A, B, X. Okay, so we can carry out the first stage of the static analysis now. Okay, so we can say positive is going up. Some mention of forces in the Y direction is equal to zero. Okay, so when we do this, we are carrying out what? Static analysis. Right? So we can write down that ABY of ABY minus P is equal to zero. So ABY is equal to what? P. Yes or no? Right? Now the, the other problem is this. The other problem is this. You have a what? Uh, a, B, X now. So for point B, P is mixed static because of what? A, B, Y, right? And this will generate an extra loading of F, A, B, and you will get a component A, B, X, you know? So now the, the point B wants to go towards the what? It wants to go towards the left. Yes or no? It wants to go towards the left now, right? So it's like, you know, 
I think some of you have been to a situation in life that when you want to fix something, something gone wrong elsewhere. Exactly the same as this. So when that's the case, for point B to stop moving in the X direction, you need a reaction over here. Right? So this is your 